Hey guys welcome back, and today we are going to create this nice business cover design for Facebook page in Adobe Illustrator. And for more content and new designs like this, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the upcoming videos. So let's jump right into it. First go to file and create a new artboard with these dimensions. These are some default dimensions for Facebook cover. But you can choose any other dimensions that you like. First we will create some background for our cover design. Download all these assets from the video description. Then drag this grey texture first in Adobe Illustrator. Align it to the center of the artboard. And scale it down properly. After this, drag this wall texture in Illustrator. Align it to the center as well. Scale it down according to the artboard. And decrease its opacity to 20%. Now finally drag this wooden surface in Illustrator. And make adjustments to this surface as well. Now we will add our main subject image on this surface. Drag this portrait image in Illustrator. Align it to the center. And scale it down properly. Place it slightly on the right side. and adjust it as you like. Now add some background shadow to this image. Go to effect, and apply a shadow to the subject image. Note down these values for the shadow. And hit OK. This will create some nice background shadow. Now we have to create some shadow here for the subject. Select the pen tool, and create a small shape similar to the subject image. This shape will be less visible. So you don't need to create a perfect shape. Make sure that its fill color is black. Now go to effect, and apply some blur to this shape. Select a value around 40 and hit OK. Open the layers panel, and place this blur shape behind the subject image. and decrease its opacity to 50%. Now we have created some realistic shadow for our subject. Press Ctrl A to select everything. Go to Object, and lock the selection. Now we can work freely without disturbing our subject and the background. Add your logo at the top left corner. I will use this logo just to give you an idea. Drag your logo in Illustrator. Scale it down. And place it here like this. Now add some headline text for your banner. First select the rectangle tool. And create a rectangle like this. Change its color to a pink shade. Note down the RGB code for this pink color. Now select the type tool, and write some text for this rectangle.
Hold down the Alt key and click and drag to create a copy. Change its color to white and align it to the center of this rectangle. You can slightly adjust the size of this rectangle if needed. Now replace this text and add the remaining headline. Increase its font size to make it more appropriate. And adjust its position. Again hold down the Alt key. Create another copy of this text and replace it. Further increase its font size. And adjust the position. Now create a copy of this text. Scale down this rectangle according to this empty space. And replace the text. Adjust this text inside this small rectangle. You can adjust this rectangle slightly. Our headline is now complete. Now we will transform this full headline. Select the full headline. Grab the transform tool. Click and hold this anchor point. Then hold down the control key. And drag this anchor point slightly upward. Now this headline is looking more appropriate. Adjust the position of this headline. And scale it up further if needed. And select a suitable position for this headline. Add your tagline here on the right side. Select the type tool and write your tagline here. Change its alignment to center. And decrease its font size. Now add some contact info here at the bottom right corner. Select the type tool, and write a helpful link here. Use some decent font for this contact info. Change its alignment to right. And adjust the font size. Note down the font that I've used here. Create a copy of this text, and add a contact number. Increase its font weight to make it more appropriate. And slightly increase its font size. Now select the rectangle tool, and create a small rectangle here. Apply the same pink color to this rectangle. And write some helpful text here. Adjust its alignment to center. And align it to the center of this rectangle. Change its color to white. 
and decrease its font size. Now select this rectangle. Go to effect. And round its corners. Select a small value around 5 and hit OK. Now place it properly on the right side. Select this full contact info. And adjust its position properly. Now our banner is complete. Go to object. And select unlock all. This will unlock all the layers that we've locked earlier. Select the rectangle tool, and create a rectangle equal to the size of the artboard. Press Ctrl A to select everything. Go to object, and make a clipping mask. And here is the final output. Hope you liked this tutorial. Don't forget to like this video. And also subscribe to Mac Visuals. Stay tuned and I'll see you in the next one.